Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. In this quick video, I just wanted to install the Microsoft Storage Explorer in an Ubuntu environment. Um, for Windows, it's pretty simple installation. Just go get your exe file or msi file and install it. Now I'm a mostly Linux person, so I like to keep things within my Ubuntu, which is my preferred operating system. So the real simple command that you really need to run to install this is right here which is sudo snap install storage explorer okay so this storage explorer is going to install uh, let me provide my password so it should install the Microsoft Azure storage explorer within my environment I, I can use this to connect to my existing storage account so let's go and see if I already have some storage account in my environment so let's uh, go to portal portal.azure.com so <clears throat> let's log in and let's see if I have anything so let's look at my resource groups and looks like I have three resource groups right now and one test lab what do I have yeah there I have one storage account so let's look at the storage account right now okay uh, looks like I have one storage account um, containers do I have any I don't have any containers let's go back let's see if I have any file share looks like I do have one file share okay and uh, go back tables I don't really use queue I don't really use uh, for the most part so we have an account so uh, access keys let's go there so if I want I can connect this access keys to connect to my account and I can use these keys within my storage account so let's go to my command window and see if that's done and it look 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 at that it says storage explorer 1.3.1 from Microsoft Azure storage tools got installed so what you can do this icon really nice little azure icon is the icon for the storage you can also type the azure storage and it should show up so just click on it and it should open up that application in your environment and once the application is up uh, must be connect to systems password manager just say okay it may request for your password maybe let's see what it says did it say something that we didn't do let's look at one more time so it's saying uh, run the following command snap connect storage explorer password manager service password manager service okay looks like when I said okay it may have ran that command automatically for us so I'm gonna wait for a second Uh, while it's running also just type down type out the command so snap connect storage explorer password manager service right is it twice no I got it so that's the command I need to run so let's run it uh, just provide your password so we got that so now it's done so let's say okay and let's see next time if I try to open it if it gives me that message or now it didn't give me the message at this time we we are able to open that application all right so here is some end user li license agreement so you can click on accept so now you are in here now what so there are multiple different options to connect to 
my storage account okay so let's uh, you can use the add azure account if you do that uh, you can have access to everything uh, you can use a connection string a shas signature uri okay so you can go here you can create a sas access signature say let's do that so all access so let's uh, start yesterday go two days and signing key is this it all looks good haven't I haven't configured something what have I not configured 625 looks good okay allowed IP address I need to give it from here so what is my IP so if config so let's get my IP address for my IP I'm using uh, that's internal IP address that is not gonna work so let's get it this way so what is my IP so let's, let's use that IP address and uh, I'm still okay so this is probably what was really missing allowed resource type so you have to configure this uh, for the SAS and uh, let's create a key and uh, it has created a whole bunch of different queries connection string SAS token uh, file and queue table service wow so I haven't used this one before to connect with my storage account so let me see if I can do that so if I do next display name URI this is only okay so display name is, is there any display name that we have given we have not given anything connection string is the only thing that I have so I can probably this sash token is missing a required sig parameter this SAS token is missing us uh, this is the this is the SAS token okay so what we'll do this is what is going to be the token uh, to the URI for the blob I'm just going to copy this put it in here for the file endpoint I'm going to copy this put it here and uh, Q, I'm gonna copy this put it here and for the table I'm gonna copy this and put it here now see display now I'm just say uh, test let's see if it, this says here it has no protocol which one is giving this one is giving us trouble maybe so get rid of it maybe mm -mm. okay so this one I need to investigate some more how to add this endpoint let's try that one display name test account name and account key so if I go back to access keys I can use this account name okay and this key is not a valid 64 
key value okay so let's copy that one let's put it in here so now at least I have no error so I can click next and I can say connect and now this thing is connected now sorry about that you are I think I need to spend some more time and I'll come back and I'll probably do another video how to do that most often what I use I use my uh, add your ad connection to directly connect and it will have everything available to me uh, so what we have done so far we have installed Azure Explorer and then we have used the storage account name to access and these keys uh, to access this account to, to the storage account and if you look at here uh, blob containers queues tables they're all in here okay and uh, you have access to all of these different uh, services and endpoints so I'm gonna do one more thing um, I'm gonna refresh this key because I don't want this key to be used for connections anymore and to do that you can regenerate this key and this current key will become immediately invalid and is not recoverable okay so if I do that then since everyone including you have seen this key I don't want you to access my account so I'm gonna say okay all right so now I have a new key now you have since shot this one I'm gonna do this again but I just want to show you before I ended this video Alright, that's how you can change the key anytime if you feel like you have a compromise in your account. You can start using the other key without changing this one and then let, you know once you do this you can change that one to revoke access. Alright, that's all for the video. The main goal was to show you how to install the storage explorer and connect to your account. I think we have accomplished the goal. So, thank you for watching.